Okay, so the Phoenician, oops. Okay, we, we already discussed one definition. Um, the first one was what I call the indirect definition we saw earlier. We said that E is a number that uh, makes the uh, the following state the following limit a true statement okay so what was the limit said that the limit when h approaches 0 of of a number, and if we that number is e, and that number we raise to the power of h minus one divided by h, if this limit equals one, then e is that number. So, but this was indirect definition. What I want to do today is so show you some couple of direct definitions. Okay, in other words, e defined as something and so and so. So. Uh, additional at this time direct definitions we're gonna the, we're gonna start with the derivative we're gonna say that uh, <clears throat> we're gonna let f of x equals natural log of x and we'll use the uh, the fact that uh, uh, it leads to the derivative f prime of x equals 1 over x and in particular f prime of 1 will be 1 so this will be our starting point we're going to let uh, that uh, we're going to have a function natural log of x. We take the derivative, and and um, we also we take the specific derivative at a point x equals one. And now we look at the limit definition. By the limit definition of the derivative, We have the following. We're going to say that in general, f of x equals the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And for our particular case, where the, uh, the function is natural log of x, then we have the limit as h goes to 0 of a natural log of uh, x plus h minus natural log of x divided by h. Okay? So this is f prime. I don't, I don't see the prime. I didn't see the prime sign. So f prime is this limit. And Particularly for f prime of 1, remember that's equals 1, then the uh, limit definition becomes the limit as h goes to 0 of natural log of 1 plus h minus natural log of 1, but uh, this is 0, and divide by h. Okay? So... <clears throat> What I'll do next, so we have 1 
let me write it. One equals the limit as h goes to zero of uh, one over h times natural log of one plus h. Okay? The next thing I'll do, remember the uh, power property of logarithm. The logarithm of, uh, of, of a to the power of p is p times the logarithm of a to the power of p. So I can take that multiplier, 1 over h, and put it as a power. And that will be the next step on the next page. <clears throat> so on the next page, all right. Actually, it might as well let me rewrite the, where we are. 1 equals the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 over h natural log of 1 plus h. Okay. And this equals in turn to the limit as h goes to 0 of uh, natural log of 1 plus h raised to the power of 1 over h, like so. Now, I <coughs> recall another property that the limit of, uh, of f of x, uh, of f of g of x is f times the limit of g of x. In other words, if you have a composition, the limit of an outside function uh, whose input is another function, uh, will be the, that outside function times the limit. In this case, the limit of the natural log of 1 plus h raised to the power of 1 over h will be the natural log of the limit when h goes to 0 of 1 plus h raised to the power of 1 over h. So, and this equals to 1. Therefore, by definition of the natural of the logarithm, okay, so recall that if 1 equals natural log of something, then the equivalent statement will be e to the 1 equals that something. Okay? And our something is the limit. <coughs> so, e to the 1, because we have 1 on the left, equals uh, the limit. That something is the limit. So e to the 1 equals the limit as h goes to 0 of 1 plus h raised to the power of 1 over h. And hence the definition, if we substitute H with X, then we have E equals the limit as X approaches zero of one plus X raised to the power of one over X. Now, this is a much more convenient definition to calculate because we can put it in Excel and calculate it for values that are closer and closer to zero and come up with the approximation of the number E. Or we can plot this function on, on 1 plus x raised to the power of 1 over x on the graph and let x be a very small number and close to zero and see what is the value. Of, uh, of this of the function. In addition, I can do a little variable substitution, okay? Uh, so let's substitute, substitute, and I'll substitute z with 1 over x, okay? And therefore, uh, x will be replaced by 1 over z. And then as x goes to 0, z being 1 over x will go to infinity. So replacing x with z, then you have another definition of the number e. 
e, therefore equal the limit, instead of x going to zero, z will go to infinity, and instead of one plus x, we'll have one plus one over z, raised to the power of z. Okay? This definition of the number e is very useful in the, if you recall from uh, your algebra days, when you learn compound uh, interest, right? And you start with the annual compounding, you start with the path model, uh, p sub 0 times 1 plus uh, r raised to the power of t, and then we do periodic, we have p sub 0 times 1 plus r over n raised to the power of n of t, n times d, and if you increase n, let n goes to infinity, and you do a little substitution, you end up obtaining an expression that looks like this, the limit is something goes to infinity. In this case, n will go to infinity, and then you can replace that expression in compounding uh, interest into E, and therefore the path becomes the parent model, P sub 0 E to the power of RT. And this is the reason uh, why it works so well.